to kill that one before he uh, starts wailing on the wind. Like he just did. What a terribly tough fight, but... Still, these guys were heavily armored, but still kick their ass. <laughs> Hello, merchant. Uh, merchant. Welcome, traveler. You look like you'd appreciate a chance to browse some good ores our steel. Uh, yes. Yeah, let's see your inventory. I hope you find something to your liking. You, you know, you can discuss the uh, situation with them, but really, is, is there a point? <laughs> We already know what's going on, so... Uh, a heavy Dwarven Maul still doesn't even get close to what we have. Yeah, well, he's just a regular armor vendor, or an arms vendor, so... Can't re really blame him for that. Um, yeah, that one can go. I think we have enough of the armors, really, but... I'll still keep him. Still the Templars, though, and that one. Just the plain items can go. Um, it's it's okay, but it's not good enough. I'll keep that one, though. I'll keep all the gems and stuff, because uh, apparently we can use those. I'll, uh, I'll sell the pelts. Because, really, I'm going to do something with the pelts. I'll sell that book. And uh, we, have some in we have some inventory space again. And I need to sneeze. Or that's what it feels like. To be honest, I actually forgot about this whole Jarvia part. <laughs> I thought it was uh, unrelated, but <laughs> it's very related. So yeah, there's a lot of thugs and everything here, all castless. Probably all part of the same gang, so... See, you can knock these guys down. Stealth. As if Stan got knocked down. Wait, did I just get trapped? How do we see him? This is where the poor people live. No, this is clearly where the rich people live. Hi, Rogek. With some more thugs behind you. I don't trust anyone here. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. It's not? Uh, I'm Eterna, Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Uh, probably got more connections than you dare even think. Um, I'd have to hear what you're asking. Human kings, you know, they make these ridiculous laws. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, name's Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of his stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. 
And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. You know, to me, that is not that much. Um, it must be dangerous if you're paying so much. More so for someone like you, I guess. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. Hmm. Turning him in? Uh, yeah, I think I'm, uh... Smuggling is illegal. I'm turning you in. I don't think so. Boys! Just grab everything he has. He's a thug anyway. Stood no chance. Come on, he better... No, he's not gonna drop anything? Oh, there we go. What, only 20? Uh, expected more than that. Then again, 20's not bad. 20 Sovereign for basically nothing. Tier 5 crossbow, yeah, I'll take that. Hmm, shop here. Wonder what he sells. Old crappy items then or something? What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Um, this doesn't look like a store. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. <laughs> okay. Um, I have some spare equipment while you give me. Why don't you take a look? Oh, he's actually got uh, decent stuff. That's kind of surprising, actually. Oh, he's not bad. Not bad. Let's compare that to Liliana. That's ah, still better. Imperial reinforced gloves. Getting there. Efforts boots. Uh, looks okay. Doesn't look that great. Crow shield. Hmm. Well, um, I'll just sell that. And that's basically it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, let's ask for the out of hideout. You're back. You got more business for me? I'm looking for the card as base. Best way to find it is stand on any street corner in Orzammar and insult Jarvia's mother. You'll wind up there quick enough, and have a real long time to get to know the place. No, not really. Um, would you know more if I if the questions came with silver? Could be if thirty silver came my way, I might know a bit. Uh, here's twenty. If I like your information, you may get more. Fine. Only Jarvia's men knew all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. They go up to what look like bare walls and poof, gone. Like there's a secret door. There's one just across the way. Watch long enough and you'll see. Now you owe me 30 silver. Uh, that wasn't worth more than 10. Actually, no, no, I don't kill him. Nah, that's, that's kind of rude. Um, <laughs> rude, really. Uh, that wasn't worth more than 10. You sodding liar, get out! I hope Jarvia guts you. Sh she'll try. Wait, we lost two copper. I apparently gave him two copper instead of ten silver. Uh, yeah, that, that seems like a bit of a dick move. Hello, shady Corbett. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Probably. Um, I'm looking for a thief who dared steal from a shaperet. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? 
You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Yeah, really think you're gonna beat me up? Really? Really? You saw these three guys with a mage, and you thought, Hey, I can take them. I can take them, no problem. Idiot. Proving receipt. Okay. Not sure how that's related. Hmm. Passed to someone in the proving ground. Yeah, guess what? I'm uh, not going in there. <laughs> right. Hi, Zerda Linda. Spare a bit for the need. Have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Uh, he has five silvers. Buy yourself a meal. No, let's try and get information. That would make much more sense. Uh, I could help you if you have some information. What information? I don't know anything. Unless you want the names of every mining family in Orzammar. That's what I was. Before. So you don't know anything about Jarvia? I know people are scared of her. I'm sorry I don't know more. I, I haven't been down here long. I still don't know how to do it, really. How do people live like this? Hmm. Yeah, I kind of don't want to bother with her stuff, I think. No, let's just hear it. What's wrong? My name is Erlinda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining cast family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone, and it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. What happened? I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know? Tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless, and I think... No, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. That's kind of horrible, yeah. Well, that's a stupid question, because we know how the caste system works. The kid gets the, uh, you know, the cast of the uh, same gender parent, so... Um... Maybe I could reason with your family. Y you would do that? But why? I have no clue. Um... I was hoping you'd offer me a reason? Info? If you would do this for gain and not compassion, then there is no hope for my son. We have nothing to offer but gratitude. Hmm. Yeah, you should go to the Chantry. They help children in need. I heard as much. There was a man speaking on the street, talking about the human religion. He called himself a cleric. Said he could help me. Yeah, go go talk to him. That's perfect, actually. Um. Yeah, the Chantry believes every soul is worth saving. Do you? Perhaps you could talk to him. I, I wouldn't know what to say. I know nothing of this Chantry. Yeah, go talk to him yourself. Of course. I'm sorry. But we still get a quest. Even though we... Well... No, I just... I didn't refuse to help her. I gave her the tip. She just has to walk down that alley. There's no thugs there anymore because I killed them all. What the fuck is her problem? Right. <laughs> yeah, I consider that quest completed successfully, not you refuse to help. This door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. On a closer inspection, there is a small slot. Concealed in a fold of the stone, just big enough for a finger. Uh, look through it. You see nothing but blackness. Great. So this is one of those, if you have the, uh, the ring or the item that you need, you can get access.